Okay, hey, what's up, guys? March 16, UFC 158. Welcome back to another episode of MMA Breakdown, and this is UFC 158. GSP is going to be putting his title on the line against Nick Diaz, and I respect the hell out of both fighters. I think Nick Diaz is one of the only guys that can beat GSP. Honestly, I think GSP has that killer instinct back who wants to finish fights. You've seen it in the Carlos Condon fight. He got almost rocked and knocked out, and he still had the balls to come back as a champion and finish the, and basically try to finish Carlos, but he went to a decision. But I still think he has that killer instinct in him. Is he going to do that against Diaz? I think it's going to be a back-and-forth, back-and-forth, brutal-ass fight. And I think GSP, I'll break it down like this. GSP is a hell of a fighter, but he's not a hell of a guy who can take a hell of a punch. He's not like a fighter like BJ Penn who can take a hell of a punch and keep on coming. Because we've seen in the fight when he fought Matt Serra. And Matt Serra, ladies and gentlemen, is not on the same level as um, Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz is on a whole nother level. And you see what Carlos Condit was able to do. You head kicked him and he fell. He's not known for being able to take a hell of a punch. What we got here is GSP is a very well-rounded fighter. He has the best implementation of game plans. He knows how to take your ass to the ground and ground and pound you. And I still think he will do what Benson Henderson did to his younger brother Nate. Take him out of his element where he can't get the boxing off. And a lot of times, when you can't get the boxing off, the Diaz brothers can't get their elusive, uh, like their crazy boxing and shit talking off, they, they lose. I just think the Diaz brothers should throw more kicks, knees, and elbows than just their uh, hands. That's just my honest opinion. So who do I think is going to win? I love both fighters. I want to say uh, Diaz is going to win. But my gut instinct is saying we're still going to have uh, GSP, Georgia St. Pierre's, as the champ. This fight right here is really intriguing to me. You have Carlos Condon at 170 fighting Roy McDonald. And you have Carlos Condon versus Roy McDonald. I think it's not going to go like the first fight where Rory dominated Carlos. I think Carlos is going to be more dominating and more destructive because he wants that title. And GSP just came off from fighting Carlos, so they're probably going to train so he can get... And uh, Rory has fought Carlos in the past, and if I'm not mistaken, Carlos was getting his ass handed to him until, like, the last round, until Carlos came back. And one thing you're not going to have in this fight is Rory McDonald showboating, because... If Carlos Condit can implement a game plan really good, I think he is going to be able to win this fight. I think he's a better fighter. I respect him as a fighter way more than I do um, uh, Roy McDonald. Roy McDonald comes off as this cocky, flashy dude doing these little dance moves and whatever. Um, I think Roy McDonald is a hell of a fighter. He's a great fighter, but I think it's going to be Carlos Condit winning. Two flights to zero. I just think that's how it's going to be. Because you can see the evolution and improvement of Roy McDonald in his fight against BJ Penn. But I think it's because BJ Penn is not the BJ Penn of old. If we had the BJ Penn that fought um, like Diego Sanchez and he would have showed up, that would have been a completely different fight. And um, we've never really seen... Roy McDonald, like, outclass, beat up, and we don't know how he is when he's uh, hurting and he's um, just getting beat down. And I think Carlos Condit is going to be the man to do that. Johnny Hendricks versus Jake Ellenberger is going to be a tough fight for both people, but I think Johnny's just going to go out like he did right here and go for the brutal knockout. That's to be honest. That's what he always goes for. Now you just got to be completely honest with you guys, Jake Ellenberger is no joke. He's a well-rounded fighter. He likes to throw some punches. 
And honestly, I think he might try to take to the ground because I don't think he wants to get that overhand right knockout like all these uh, fighters have been getting lately. Um, this dude can brutally knock you out. That I, I, I really see that happening in this fight. Him going for him trying to go for the knockout. And if he can't implement that, he's getting taken to the ground. Not just rely on your overhand right. It's kind of like saying, if you look at fighters like Roy Country Nelson, this dude is a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And when was the last time you seen him take somebody down and submit him? I mean, he has the ability to do that because he submitted uh, Frank Mir in a competition. And is there a chance that he would ever see it again? No, he probably likes the overhand right. Same thing with Jimmy Hen Jimmy Hendrix. Johnny Hendrix. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, Johnny Hendrix. He has the ability to knock people out. And I think if it goes to the ground, is he going to be prepared for the submission game? Is he going to be prepared for that? Because once you're so settled in knocking people out, look at uh, Damian Maya, for example. He doesn't really go for any uh, leg locks or submissions anymore. He just um, likes to stand and bang. And I think standing and banging and knocking someone out is more uh, fulfilling for a fighter than um, actually submitting somebody. Because submitting somebody, uh, yes... It is where you take them to a limit and they have to come and say, no more, no must, no must, I give up. But a knockout is, I'm physically better than you. You throw that overhand right, boom, right down the pipe, the full drop, you know it's done. You know it's done. So I'm picking Johnny Hendricks by brutal knockout. I'm picking um, GSP to win that fight, even though I want Diaz to win. And I'm picking Carlos Conant to beat uh, Rory McDonald. I don't like Rory McDonald. I don't respect him as a fighter for what he did to PJ Penn being cocky. And he's like, I wasn't being cocky. I was just, yes, you were, son. So with that said, thanks for watching another episode of MMA Breakdown, UFC 158.